the iconic moment, you brought up 3 and B and nostalgia. I will never forget, and I think a lot of fans will never forget, the moment when you won that title and you put your hand towards the screen. And I was in my house, just like everybody else, locked in their homes, uh, afraid, not knowing what's next. And there you were. And I felt like you were, at least for me, you were reaching out, making sure that we knew that we were all still together. We are still connected. Is that what you were trying to portray there? Or is that just a moment of, hey, what's going on? No, no, it was definitely a moment of uh, we're still connected here yeah. and showing my gratitude um, for the fans getting behind me um, and kind of, you know, choosing WWE during these difficult times, but also choosing Drew McIntyre as the next guy. Like, that's the reason I was in the position I was in, because the fans kind of universally pointed and said, this is the next guy. And I was so grateful yes. for that moment and wanted to let them know, like, hey, you may not be here, but you're here with me. And it was an organic moment. It was uh, WrestleMania was pre-taped the week prior. Mm. I assumed that moment would be edited out because generally we don't look down the camera lens and break the fourth wall. Yeah. But it just felt like the right thing to do with nobody there because I couldn't look out to the crowd and make that connection because there was nobody there. So I just looked right into the camera lens, had that moment, assumed they would never see the light of day. And it was cool to see it and during live WrestleMania and people to have such a positive response to it. It was real.